All right, folks, good morning, good morning, good morning. Uh, it's the morning of a Tuesday, and today I'll be working on middle seat. The middle seat, all right? Uh, I wasn't going to put any seats, but uh, if you want to go around, like, town or whatever the case may be, take the your girls and stuff, man, you need some, uh, you need some seats. So I'm working on the middle seat. So this is what I got right here. Okay, been working on it already. So this is a uh, early bay, early bay window seat. And why is halfway taken apart? It's because uh, when you set this, the original seat on the on the combi is shorter. The the short seat, the the middle seat. If it's a short middle seat, it's shorter, about an inch and a half shorter than the, uh, well, the mounts are about an inch and a half, half shorter. So the seat is about eight inches longer than the small middle seat that goes in the combi. So, but it is what it is. You barely find the, uh, the, the, the right ones. So this is the, the next, uh, next best thing. All right. So. So, uh, so now what I'm going to do is, uh, this seat right here, it's, you can tell it's a little cockeyed. So it, it means that it's, I guess somebody, I don't know, uh, pulled it or something happened that it, uh, this, 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 uh, support right here gave away and it's leaning that way, cockeyed. So I'm going to, I got to fix that. Also, <clears throat> I have to cut this leg right here and I got to move it this way. Uh, so I got to move it this way about an inch and a half so I can fit it on the, on the bus on our, the, uh, later, uh, early bus and not early, early. So late split, uh, late split with, uh, early bay window seat. And yes, it is a black seat. So we're gonna go to the process again, this seat, getting that seat right there. I didn't do it with the other ones, but we're gonna go to the process to get this, that seat looking like those seat right there. Okay, so just stay with me. We're gonna get him fitted on the bus and we're gonna get him, uh, restore him a little bit and get him uh, that color, okay? I'm gonna show you what products I use so it's no surprise. So you uh, you can uh, use it later on, in uh, in one of your projects or so. All right. So let's get to it. All right, folks. Here it is. Uh, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna take measurement from the center, right there, the center of that opening. That's where the clamp goes. The and then the center of this one. On this side, I'm not gonna do the set the, the middle one. It's not it's not gonna get because the clamps are really really expensive and um and uh, it calls for only four clamps and not not six. So I guess the the bay windows come with six, and this ones uh, come with uh with uh four clamps. No excuse me. So it says 35 inches on the dock. So now the center. The center of the two outside mounts or or uh, mounting legs is gonna have to be the very center. It's gonna have to be 35 inches apart. 35 inches apart, center to center. And right now it's at 37 and a quarter. So we have to move it two and a quarter inch. 35 inches so two and a quarter inch so so now we're just gonna go ahead and uh, get him you know, we're gonna get him uh, uh, ground uh, grind all the stuff out probably I'm not even gonna grind it I'm probably gonna use a hacksaw or some sort because I don't want no sparks I, I don't want this to get uh, to burn up so so the first thing you got to do is undo uh, you got to undo the uh, the uh, plastic cover and you gotta undo this little um it's like uh 
like bent over tabs. And you got to get them undone so you can get to the uh, uh, access to them. And then while you got that stuff, you can clean all this stuff and get it painted. And uh, it's going to be looking good. Let me let me go ahead and uh, figure out what am I going to use to cut this. And uh, we go from there. All right, folks. Uh, I got it cut right here. So what I used was a combination of a small cutoff wheel. We use a cutoff wheel for for just the guides to guide it around the, the very top. And then I use the Zawzall. I use the Zawzall to, to get it completely cut. Now I cut one of the uh, the springs because it was in the way, but it won't hurt it. So anyways, but now it's all taken out and I got, you see it, it's, it's cut pretty good. So it's going to fit really nice and it's going to fit really nice. Uh, we just got to get uh, the measurement 35 inches from here, the center of here to the center of there, 35 from center to center. And then we're going to tack it in place. We're gonna tack it here, tack it here, and then weld it around. And uh, uh, of course, we gotta protect all this stuff and uh, probably put it up, uh, upright so you won't get any slag in there. If not, the slag will go through and it'll burn the seat. So you gotta be careful with that. But anyways, uh, I'm gonna grind it off, clean it off really good, and uh, I'm gonna get it tacked, measure again, and then we're gonna get it welded. All right, guys, so uh, here it is. We got the markings at 35. And then we all we're going to do is tack it. And we're going to tack it. And then after we tack it, we're going to get the uh, make sure it's square. And uh, then we're going to weld it in. And uh, we're going to move on to the next step that is going to be getting all this stuff uh, treated for rust, paint it, and then we're going to paint the seat. So... Keep going. All right, folks, uh, finish, uh, not finished welding. I still got to do from the bottom up on both sides, but that's uh, where it's going to sit, and it's at 35 inches on the center, and it should work on the, uh, it should work on, uh, on the bus, so, and now we're going to go ahead and do the rust treatment around the frame and stuff, and then we're going to let it dry, after that we're going to clean it really good, and, and we're going to, get it painted, get the, beat, the seat painted, all right, so let's do it. All right, folks, uh, now I'm working on this uh, vent here, so the the backrest is, is bent back, so when I'm, I'm looking at, and then right there, that's where the bend is, right there at the corner so what i'm going to do is i'm going to push it out a little bit i'm going to heat it up uh this area right here i'm going to heat it up and then i will i will bend it back and then i will get i, I wasn't going to do any more welding on it but it seems like i need to put a reinforcement there so uh from here probably a, a gossip it, it has one but i think it's just too short so it needed to be like down here so i just put a plate right there and I think that is going to correct that uh, that issue of the uh, of that seat from if you look at it from this side. Okay, this is straight, but if you look at the back, the back is tilted back. It's like that. It's, it's sideways like that. So we're going to get it all straightened out, and I think it's going to be okay. So and then we're going to reinforce it. You get that done now before I do all, any painting or nothing. All right. All 
All right, folks, uh, a little bit of struggle. Uh, I wish I had somebody else with me here, but it is what it is. Uh, the bend was right here. So now the bend is taken off. Now the seat is straight. It's straight. As straight as, as I can get it. Uh, and now I'm gonna put a gossip from here and I'm gonna I'll pick up all this bend over here because I messed it up and it's all weak now. So I'm just going to put a gossip here and you won't be able to see it because this will cover on top and, and it's going to be, you know, strength is going to really be on there because the early ones had this uh, handle will come down here and it'll go to here and that's what gives this the strength uh, on to uh to you know to be really strong but since they just put this floating this handle here is weak it doesn't have anything to hold it back so if i could find a pipe that i can weld to here from here to here i i could probably replicate the uh the early ones but i think they go to the to here right here but if I can find it, I'm going to go and look around and see if I have a couple bends. If not, I'll probably have to go to the metal to do it, to the recycle uh, place and get a, a bend for here. And it'll come here like that. I think it should come here down and then it'll come to here. And then that will give that strength that is not there, it's missing. But I think with a gossip here, I don't think you even need that. So. All right, let's get to it. All right, so this is what I'm doing. I'm gonna use this piece of metal and I'm gonna cut it to shape and I'm gonna weld it right there. And that's gonna give this the strength needed to not bend, at least not on that same spot. It makes the pivot point way over here instead of back here in the back. So let's, let's get it welded in. All right, this is the piece I'm gonna use right here. And this piece is gonna sit right there. And then this is gonna give that seat the strength it needs uh, for now, because I, I really, really want to put the, uh, the this pipe right here. Hopefully I can find it and uh, I will have to like go like right now and go get it. So, well, I'll think about it and I'm gonna go around here in the shop and see if there's anything any pipe that has been that way and I, I see something but that's uh you see this pipe right here it's got a bend to it uh, but that's the only 36 horse pipe we we'll take that out and use it but I, I could see some stuff that has uh curves like that so we'll see all right let me get this well right, folks to show you the gossip that I just built. So that is going to put the strength back over here instead of on this, you know, on the weak point right here close to the bend. So hopefully it'll stay together there. I'm, I'm, I'm positive it will. I don't think it's going to bend. If it's going to bend, it's going to bend on the top. If it's going to bend somewhere, it's going to bend right here instead of here. So, and uh, we'll see. We'll go from there. But it needed that. And I think from the factory, it needed that anyway. So, uh, let's move on. We got to paint this thing. All right, folks. Uh, here it is. It's nice and uh, rust-treated. And... And that's the paint I'm going to use. It's P.O.R. Black. And that thing stays nice and strong. So tomorrow, if I can, I'm going to paint prep it uh, for the seat. I got to get the seat back uh, over the, the spikes and get it all tightened down. And then I'm going to go ahead and uh, do the prepping for the paint. And... And get it prepped and paint it uh, and then i'm just gotta wait for the uh for the 
for the brackets, uh, the clamps to come in for the for the bus and then get it in the bus. But the problem was that I got sidetracked here and I I came in and uh, did a little bit of uh, uh, rust uh, proofing and all the stuff that I replaced this car and all the the areas that I know that they would rust in the future. So. And uh, next up is going to be, I'm going to put a 2K primer on this, 2K primer, and then I'm going to sand, sand it down. And I'm going to sand uh, 2K primer on all this area. So all the black areas, I will 2K primer, all of it. Uh, and then, and then uh, you see all this areas right here, I'm a 2K primer, all that stuff. And then after a 2K primer, I, I'm going to do a 2K on here as well. Back here. And all on the inside. I'm 2K prime, all the inside. And then after I do that, I'm going to sand whatever I have to sand. And just do it to get it protected. And then I'm going to do the painting. I'm not no expert, but... You know, I did the same process on this one right here, and it turned out pretty nice. So, I believe the 57 is going to look good as well. All right, so, uh, well, I'll let you go, and uh, hopefully tomorrow. All right, guys, uh, here it is. Uh, that POR, it uh, it uh, cured really fast. So, so we're going to start with the bottom part. So that way we can go ahead and, and, and get this squared away. So when we flip it up up uh, upright, uh, we don't have to deal with the uh, the bottom anymore. Okay. So uh, just taped it up, all the black. Uh, I got everything back on where it's supposed to be. And uh, we're going to clean it. So what we use, or what I use, is this product. SEM. This product is really good. This is the vinyl prep. What this does is uh, it softens it softens the the vinyl and uh, and preps it and makes it, it makes the the paint adhere to it. So just uh, just spray it. Let it sit for a second. And let's see for a second. It's gonna soak, and then you come with a rag, clean rag. It's just like a uh, paint prep. This is the same thing. With a clean rag, you just uh, wipe it, and then you move. You move uh, to the next area. Uh, this area is right here. If you want to uh, use a, a brush, uh, a bristle brush, to get it inside those uh, crevices. It'll be okay. I'm not gonna use, do it because it's uh, the color I'm using is gonna be tan, so eh, no need for it. But this product actually it uh it softens the the, uh, the vinyl, and at the same time it cleans it. It cleans is really good. And that way you don't have to look at that. And he cleans it really good. It takes most of the stuff. I'm gonna use some uh some paint uh prep here for it's got a little bit of glue. So let's see if it comes out. Yep, there it is. It came out. Has some uh, has some tape, some uh, duct tape. I don't know why there was a reason for it, but it has some duct tape there. And I'm telling you, yeah, not a whole lot of people like doing uh uh, getting their hands dirty, but dude, I'm telling you, you can save so much money by doing it yourself. 
Yeah, I know. Time. To the essence. And yeah, I understand that how that works. But oh man, there's no tape. So I gotta flip it over. Alright. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna coat this right here with paint. And then we're gonna move to the uh to the uh, other side. I gotta get a piece of tape. I just wanna do this area right here. And it's only gonna be one coat because I don't have enough. So this is the, the one I use for the for the bus. It's a uh, camel. In 15137. Uh, and Just make sure that it's not that it's not wet. I can see some uh, wet areas still. And go to time. I think uh, we need a little bit more time. So, all right, folks. Uh, that's all I had for paint. So, but you can start seeing the color. Coming out, it's gonna good, be a look good looker. And this is a black, and that color that is the first coat. It says it says just uh, lightly spray it, and that's all I did. Lightly sprayed it. So, and it's a, it's it's looking really good. I gotta do three coats. That's number one, and they will, they should, they should come out looking like this one's so so we're gonna go ahead and uh and uh, i gotta order some of this paint or either probably tomorrow morning i gotta go and buy some paint so i'm gonna finish uh this video tomorrow all right folks here we are in the process of painting the seat so I already painted the rear or the back and it looks really nice. Um, and now, now I gotta paint the uh, the front side of it. So uh, slowly but shortly, it's getting there. It takes about, it's gonna take about two cans, just a seat. But when it's finished, it's gonna look, it's gonna be a looker, it's gonna, look just like the other ones so uh it is what it is and uh, it is looking really good so let's keep on all right guys uh it's painted it took uh two and a half cans so they're 15 dollars a can so uh, about 45 bucks and but it's as good as we're gonna get it looks really good and it matches the other seats and that's all that matters it's just gonna be it's gonna be good because it it wasn't gonna have anything there so i mean uh next up is i'm waiting for the um uh, waiting for the uh clamps i'm gonna show you what i did over here yeah, I already cut the holes for the clamps, and there's some base clamp that go on the bottom, and then the there's a bolt that goes on the top uh, through here, and a big wing nut. So, but it's gonna look good because it's missing something there. I guess it's missing the seat. So, anyways, all right, guys. So uh, I'll let you go. And when I get the clamps, I finalize the video and see how, how it looks. Right.
All right, folks, uh, here we are. Um, I finally got the uh, the clamps, uh, and they're, they're set. Those are the clamps that it's supposed to have right there, and they work well. So two over there, two over here, and then there's two clamps for the back, but I don't have a back seat, and if I can find a cheap, uh, seat in the future i'll put it in but uh i'm not I, I don't really care about it anyways uh there it is um uh, and also i'm working on transmission i got transmission out i got all the parts so um you're gonna have to see a, a video on this stuff how to get it all mounted uh, back together and stuff so i pull the engine pull the engine out it's right here pull the engine and that's the axles right there um all the uh all the stuff for the axles and then there's nothing in there of course and this are the, the transmissions i had two transmissions so this one i already opened it up and uh and checked the everything ensure that everything is good to go and uh, I'm already swapping parts, and uh, it's almost ready to go. I just got to do the shaving, uh, the shaving for the uh, 12 bolt uh, system, and then it'll be good to go for to mount it in. All right. So, but before I do that, I have to. Well, actually, that transmission is going to go in hopefully tomorrow. But then I'm gonna work on the on the engine. Because I'm gonna do the dual carburetor. I already got the uh, the linkage done, and I got the the two carburetors right there. And I have my buddy of mine, uh, Mr. Jesus uh, 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 Roman, and he's gonna send me the uh, the intakes needed for uh, this uh, for this engine to get the uh, the dual carburetor. So we're gonna get rid of all that stuff we're going to get rid of the uh, fuel pump and we're going to get rid of the carburetor and everything in the middle so it's going to look it's going to look amazing so just uh wait for it and uh you'll see how, how good this uh gonna look okay so i'm gonna let you go with that uh, and uh man those seat that seat that rear seat looks really really nice uh you know it goes with the theme uh it's got a little little cracks but i'm gonna leave it like that i'm not gonna sweat it it looks good and and uh it turned out pretty nice so so kudos it, it works love it all right guys uh hey don't forget to uh subscribe share and like it and uh and keep those uh notifications on so you can see when uh, when uh when i post a video or when I'm uh, live, okay? All right, I'll see you.